Hey guys, Baron J67 of Level 1 Gaming. Today we're going to talk about that Dragon's Dogma 2 gameplay that was showcased. And I know I'm super late to the party, but I had some things to take care of, but that's besides the point. Let's jump right into it. Now, as somebody who's been playing Dragon's Dogma for quite a while, I'm one of those weirdos who still hasn't beat the game. I just constantly create characters, play for a while, put the game down, and then pick it back up, and then all of a sudden create a new character again. And I always find myself starting over and over and over. Why? I don't know, because I'm weird and the game's fun and it's still worth playing. And it even holds up till today. And the original Dragon's Dogma came out, I want to say, well over 10 years ago. So the game holds up. So if you're thinking about jumping into it, um, from what I understand, you do not have to play the first Dragon's Dogma or Dragon's Dogma Dark Arisen in order to enjoy Dragon's Dogma 2, but it's still worth checking out. You can get it pretty cheap anywhere. It's on PC. They got it. You can play it on your handhelds. They got it on console. Like You, you can pick it up, play it anywhere, right? But let's jump into Dragon's Dogma 2. So they showed gameplay for, um, I believe, all the available main starting classes. So Warrior, Sorcerer, Thief, um and uh not barbarian uh and fighter and fighter now the thing that stood out off top from the very beginning was the fact the graphical update the graphics look absolutely amazing and then what made it what really stood out to me especially as i'm having a i'm playing through dragon's dogma dark arisen right now on my ps5 um the game it still feels like you're looking at dragon's dogma right like it's the graphics are enhanced they look modern they look they have that beautiful look but you still know like it's not like they completely changed the art style it's not as if they made some um they they took a different you know took a, like i said different art style like they took a different turn no it's still very clearly Dar um, Dragon's Dogma, which is awesome because I'm, I'm, of, I'm of the mind of if it's not broke, don't fix it. Now, the first thing I noticed, and this is where I honestly, a part of me wanted them to implement it, and maybe they they will as some form of like accessibility, or maybe just an option they didn't showcase in this, but they don't have a lock-on system for the melee, at least from what I saw in the combat. And that was that was something I was I was wondering. It, it's not a deal breaker because going back and like I said, I'm currently playing Dragon's Dogma Dark Arisen. It's not necessary. It's not the most necessary thing on earth. Your abilities when you're fighting a crowd, when you when you activate certain abilities like the sword dash attack with the uh, with the fighter, um, your sword and shield class, it it tracks. Like you're you're going to got be guided towards an enemy. Like it's not like you just have to perfectly aim and time it. It it there's there is some lock function to abilities. Um and it's not the most necessary thing, but I, I feel like it would be very cool. Now of course they have the lock on with the sorcerer and the spell casting. That is that of course that you know you need that. But it, it's it, it's not a deal breaker. It was just something I would I was kind of hoping to see, if I'm being honest. Um, but not disappointed. But eh, it was something I was looking forward to. Okay, so um, now moving forward, uh, going going back with the graphics. Graphics are freaking phenomenal. Looking at the Cyclops, looking at the fur on the ogre, looking at the the destruction from the area attacks are. The freaking particles from the the spell casting it it looked the spell casting because the spell okay so spell casting has always been a very dope part of dragon's dogma the, the game so knowing that it's even more enhanced you know seeing the giant meteor coming out the sky the crazy lightning bolt striking down and the after effects are even the runes and emblems pop in the uh, markers popping up as you're preparing your cast all of that just looks so freaking amazing and I, i'm excited to see what else goes on within the uh, graphics and spell casting and like just how much grander it's going to be then of course 
this game being built in RE engine, which we know is one of the best looking engines out there. Um, I'm not a super technical guy, so I'm not even gonna sit here and pretend, but I just know, especially fresh off of playing Resident Evil 4 Remake, like RE engine just looks amazing. Um, but um, freaking seeing that climbing and breaking off uh, parts of the monster's bodies are back. You know, that's always a dope thing, collecting items to craft, weakening enemies. Um, you know, you've seen it with uh, breaking the Cyclops' tusk and watching it hit the ground and climbing on, uh, climbing up their back, hitting weak points. And what was also something that really stood out to me, and there was a couple of moments in the, um, the game. Oh, uh, duh, I didn't even talk about the gameplay. So the gameplay was played by IGN, and they showed about 10 minutes of the gameplay. Um, but the cool thing that stood out is it looked like there were moments and at first i thought it was a glitch where you your character across multiple classes like i seen it with the uh, with the warrior with the fighter uh well at least with the warrior and the thief i believe i didn't see it with the fighter but they were crawling they were walking there was moments where like it looked like they were standing and moving across the back of the giant monsters now i know during um the reveal of dragon's dogma 2 they showcase like it's going to be bigger fights where you're going to have to be crawling around so i'm hoping that this is them expanding upon that crawling system because that is super dope um but once again going it back to if it's not broke don't fix it it was super cool seeing that a lot of the combat uh a lot of the enemy attack patterns were very similar to on from what i remember from and what i've experienced in dragons dogma dark or isn't like it was cool uh seeing the drop kick from the ogre or the cyclops trying to sit um i wonder if the ogre is gonna have like the backbreaker where like if you're crawling on their back they'll try to swipe at you and then they'll like just jump back and smash the ground with their back with you on it um or even like the grab and bite like there's just so many it's so cool to see that they're still using the things that worked like that made that game so successful um but the it looked like a lot of similar attacks i wonder how they're going to expand upon that um i wonder if there's going to be a deeper uh crafting system or upgrading system within the gear sets um they i didn't watch the gameplay for the trickster um I, I didn't outside of like that small snippet they showcase but from what I understand they just released another video where they broke down the whole like they went deep dived into the class I didn't I haven't watched it yet so maybe I'll do something covering that but all in all this looks so badass like only thing that sucks is of course a game that I'm excited about and really looking forward to is releasing the weekend of packs this is the second time that i'm dealing with this because the first time was with starfield so that starfield released the day i think day one of pax west and uh or at least the early access and then now we have day one of pax uh being the release date for of pax east being the release date of dragon's dogma 2 so that's gonna suck having this game and looking at it but not playing it but it's gonna be cool because you're gonna be at pax east so yeah look forward to that content march 22nd um not only the release of dragon's dogma 2 but level one gaming is gonna be at pax east uh having a good time doing a lot of interviews bringing you guys a lot of content but yep bear j67 um i'm excited for dragon's dogma 2 the gameplay shown looked amazing and um let me know what you guys think let me know what classes you guys are going to be running i'm probably going to go with um i'm probably either going to do a fighter class or a thief that's usually what i run with um i'll, I'll probably check out thief just so i can see how the bow uh the bow and arrow works in this one and see what kind of abilities there's going to be um and then see probably rank up my stamina with crawling and then when i max that out with my vocate or max out that vocation um not class vocation then i'm gonna move over to the fighter and see what i can do with that and I'll, that's probably what i'll try uh, maybe even run with sorcerer a little bit and throw some spells but we'll see let me know below in the comments what you guys are going to do um get all your news from lv1 gaming uh much love to all those who supported me in the battle of charity event we ended up raising as a whole over thirty-seven thousand dollars 
which was amazing. We had a great time. I'll be talking about that in another video. But yes, much love. Peace.